should not get yourselves a club, actually. We're yeah, yeah. having a bad day in the sky. <laughs> we'll just wait for Abby to get in the body of the camp before proceeding. So you've got your guard of honour for the Yes Bikers today. Tony Cox, I'm an uh, All Under One Banner supporter, a big supporter of All Under One Banner. What they do is what it says on the tin. They attempt to try and unite all the different groups within this wider indie movement of ours. We should remember that we are a movement, that we are made up of many different parts, and that none are more important than the others. None take precedence over any other part. All should be listened to with respect and all, if necessary, should be disagreed with, with respect. <laughs> the silent clansman's gonna break his silence and out to make uh, the announcement himself. Can I just say, uh, he got that wrong. It wasn't 500. It was 501 because that daft bugger in the kayak out there. <laughs> anyway, where is Wilma? I knew she was going to say something about the Chain of Freedom, but I just happened to have in my hand the Chain of Freedom brochures. So we're all looking forward to the October event. It's coming along. Uh, there's, there's, I think there's about 15,000 people that have registered just now, and that's so important, the registration takes place, because we can't do it if you all just turn up in the one place at the one time. So through registration, uh, we can find out numbers and get people to the right locations. There's going to be music, there's going to be entertainment all the way along the Fourth and Clyde Canal and along the Union Canal between Glasgow and Edinburgh. It's so, so important that people in Scotland have an opportunity to do things. I made a wee video when I was under the bridge there just now, and I spoke about 
you people here because not everybody can get to the marches or events. And the way I look at it is if you do a small thing for independence, it reverberates quite large. And if you do a big thing for independence, it gets even bigger. But people who sit on their bums and wait behind their letter boxes for a golden envelope arriving like the postcode lottery with independence inside it are going to have a very long wait. It's only by getting up and doing wee things and bigger things that this country will release itself from the shackles of Westminster. In the meantime, chain of freedom, please, please, I'll be there on my kayak. Let's hope it's no so dodgy as it was today. But uh, thank you very much. And finally, people keep asking. I'm fully recovered from my wee mishap at Stirling. Thank you. God bless you all. Now, uh, we've got a wee musical interlude now before our final two speakers. And I'd li like to ask uh, Jackie Bister, <laughs> Fe Alpa, and John Ford, Fe Salvo, to make their way to the stage. But our uh, next act here is uh, Eddie Kearney, somebody who's well known on the uh, All Under One Banner circuit. He spoke, uh, he's performed at a, a few events. So a big indie welcome for Eddie Kearney. Thank you. <laughs> Give me just one minute. One, two, one, two. Oh. Hey, Feska Ma, Kaulakin. Feska Ma, Moharic. Now I'm going to start us with a wee song. It's called The Bonnet Blue. And, um, it's two verses, 16 lines, and it tells the full story of Scotland within these 16 lines. It's called the Bonnet Blue. Must not forget the past. We have come a long way from the mess of time with battles won and lost. Now, as we go down the road that leads us to our destiny, we will take whatever life throws at us with the courage of the free. I will wear the flag of bonny Scotland On my heart I will be forever true I will wear the dark and noble Alpa On my head I will wear the bonnet blue I will raise up the soldier, I will raise it to the sky I will always be proud of who I am I will hold out and of friendship everywhere I go For I'm Scottish and proud of this land I will wear the flag of Bonnie Scotland On my heart I will be forever true I will wear a tart and noble gallop On my head I will wear a bonnet blue I will raise off the I will raise the sky 
I will always be proud of who I am. I will hold out hand of friendship fairly in a glow, for I'm Scottish and proud of this land. I, I will wear the flag of Bonnie Scotland, on my heart I will be forever too. I will wear the darling of old Alapa, on my head I will wear the bonnet blue. I will raise up so far, I will raise through the sky. I will always be proud of who I am. I will hold out hand of friendship everywhere I go. For I'm Scottish and proud of this land. For I'm Scottish and proud of this land. For I'm Scottish and proud of this land. Right, the next one is a problem. <laughs> you see, this is a this is a song. Uh, it's it's a song about somebody with a great deal of respect for. Um, somebody who's not popular in all quarters in Edinburgh, but I promised her that I'd write a song for her at the Glasgow rally. Now I left it a bit late, and I've only just finished writing it, and. So I'm going to have to read the words, I'm afraid. So give me a minute. Um, great thing, woodworking clamps, aren't they? <laughs> this is called Words of Ash. She was on the road to Liberty. Then she said the path that she would walk on, join the SNP. Then thought she'd like to serve the people, became an MSP. Ash was never one to take a back seat. She'd be up there with principal sound. Never one. Shy away from the real heat has a feet on the ground. The bravest lass in other land, she stood firm on shift and sand. She stood tall and took a stand. She poured scorn on the other hand, and Scotland's phoenix shall once more rise. silent with a passion that is something Ash finds hard to do when your heart says no then you must listen that'll get you through when the whip says vote smile and say smash it But hand in your notice and say me too. Oh. 
the greatest lass in all the land. She stood firm and shut and sang. She stood tall and took a stand. She poured scorn on the underhand. And Scotland's phoenix shall once more rise. And words of ash. The bravest lass in all the land. She stood firm and shut and sang. She stood tall and took a stand. She poured scorn on the underhand. And Scotland's phoenix shall once more rise. And words of ash. And words of ash. And words of ash. Thank you very much. Tak Willa. Now, now, I've just got a wee short one to do. It's another, but another person I greatly admire. Um, it's somebody that's here, and it's somebody that's every single um, all under one banner rally. And if it wasn't for him, there wouldn't be any rallies because nobody would be able to hear anything. And his name is Bruno Cellini. And some of you might not know who that is, but his name is Bruno Cellini. So that's a wee song about Bruno Cellini. Right. <laughs> hey, you hope he wouldn't be, wouldn't he be, wouldn't he be? Hey, you hope he wouldn't he be, wouldn't he be held that talk? Hey, you hope he wouldn't he be, wouldn't he be, wouldn't he be? Hey, you hope he wouldn't he be, wouldn't he be held that talk? But for Bruno Cellini, Bruno Cellini, he's a man in the ground. Bruno Cellini, Bruno Cellini, he's a man in the sound. The rally would be a pointless affair, a pointless affair, pointless affair. The rally would be a pointless affair, because nobody be held that talk. But for Bruno Cellini, Bruno Cellini, he's a man in the ground. Bruno Cellini, Bruno Cellini, he's a man in the sound. The chanting and the shouting with drun, shouting with drun, shouting with drun. Chanting and the shouting with drun, the folk back on the stage. But for Bruno Cellini, Bruno Cellini, he's a man in the ground. Bruno Cellini, Bruno Cellini, he's a man in the sound. It's but off for one man stand, one man stand, one man stand. It's but off for one man stand, the princess in your ear. Oh, it's but off for one man stand, one man stand, one man stand. It's but off for one man stand, what brings a sign in your ear. And it's Bruno Cellini, Bruno Cellini, he's a man in the ground. Bruno Cellini, Bruno Cellini, he's a man in the sound. Bruchellini, Bruchellini, he's a man in the ground. Bruchellini, Bruchellini, he's a man in the sound. Takwilacht, cheery maha. <laughs> Hello, you hear me now? <laughs> that was superb. That was a highlight. You know, excellent stuff there for Eddie Kerr now. Wonderful uh, songwriting. But the only thing that's uh, left for me to do is actually close this event. And I think I can say nothing more appropriate than we should actually take a lot of inspiration for where we're actually speaking. Because what we should always remember is our own history. Our history is absolutely essential to our future. And what we should always remember is that it was in Skye and places like Skye right throughout the Highlands that one of the most effective campaigns in modern British and Scottish political history took place during the Crofters' War of the 1880s. The Crofters fought the landlords to a standstill and they actually forced the hand of government to change the legislation which basically gave uh, the security of tenure 
to the crofters that they'd never actually had up until that point. Now that fight was never fully won, but their uh, fight and their success, because this was a, a people's uh, uh, campaign. This was men, women and children of villages who faced down the armed might of the British state and actually won. And their fight should actually give us inspiration. It should be our model for how we take on this Tory government and how we take on this union of dust and ashes. Because this union of dust and ashes promises us nothing but a perennial hollowing out of all that is left of Scotland. If we do not achieve independence in the next 10 years, then there will be little left of Scotland worth actually saving. And that should make us more determined than ever to take the fight to Westminster, to take that fight to Westminster and to win. Sor Alba, Scotland free or a desert. Hi there everybody, uh, Paddy here, Oliver and Banner from Sky. What a wonderful day it's been today. Uh, the weather's not been the best, however, the spirits have been very, very high. Everybody's pulled together very, very well. As you can see now, we're stripping down the area. We had uh, about 500 people today, which is very good. I um, would say, considering people have walked, come from Paisley, come from Ayrshire, come from Lanarkshire, all over the place, Highlands and Islands as well. So I'd like to thank everyone for coming, of course, and also like to say on behalf of the team that we really appreciate all the support we get off you. Next match will be the 29th of next month, and that's going to be in Falkirk. So we're hoping for a good turnout there. I see no reason why not. The speakers to be announced. As you know, doing these things isn't the easiest um, operation to go in. We have to go through a lot of uh, different loops and hoops to try and get this organised so the grassroots movements can all come together and uh, in one voice speak loud and clearly that independence is not dead, independence is still alive, uh, we're doing very well, don't believe the press, don't believe that uh, if the SNP are doing badly, independence is doing badly. Independence is far bigger. The grassroots, as I like to say, is a beaten heart and the blood of this movement. We will work with anybody who wants independence. You do not have to be a party member. You do not have to pay a subscription to us. You just turn up, bring your banners, bring your flags, bring hope, and bring a new beginning. Thank you very much.